setting target values for thermal growth. The XA can automatically adjust the alignment results to account for dynamic growth, also known as thermal growth. The user simply enters target values which specify where the machine should be positioned when cold to get a correct alignment when the machine is running in a hot condition. For example, if you want the motor to sit five thousandths high when correctly aligned in a cold condition, you would set a thermal growth target of five thousandths in the vertical plane. The system will then make an adjustment, essentially building in this deliberate misalignment to compensate for the thermal growth. Since the adjustment is automatically made by the system, the user follows the normal practice of aligning the shafts with the machine in a cold state to acceptable tolerances. Dynamic growth targets for a horizontal shaft alignment are specified after the alignment application has been initiated and dimensions entered. To enter targets, touch the application settings icon. Then touch the thermometer icon. Thermal growth adjustments can be expressed as either feet values or as angle and offset values. Turbine manufacturers tend to provide the former, while compressor manufacturers tend to provide the latter. If entering thermal growth adjustments as angle and offset values, the specification is most often given as the coupling gap difference. So first it will be necessary to enable coupling gap values. Touch the angle and offset icon. Touch the tools icon. Then touch the coupling gap icon. Touch the coupling gap on icon to turn on coupling gap. And touch OK. Note that the coupling gap icon shows the coupling gap display is now turned on. Touch the exit icon to return to the angle and offset entry screen. Touch the yellow coupling diameter box. Enter the coupling diameter on the keypad and touch OK to return to the thermal growth value screen. Now you can enter gap difference and offset values for both vertical and horizontal dynamic growth. Touch the first yellow box to enter a gap difference value in the vertical plane. Use the keypad to enter the value and then touch OK. Next enter an adjustment value for the offset growth of the movable machine in the vertical plane and touch OK. The angle and offset adjustments in the vertical plane now appear on the screen. From this screen, horizontal adjustments can be input. The thermal targets can be saved to a file or the targets can be applied to a horizontal shaft alignment. After completing alignment measurements, the thermal target icon will appear on the results screen to indicate the target values were applied. The icon will remain visible on the results screen throughout the alignment correction process. If the alignment results are saved to a file, the thermal adjustments will be noted on the results file JPEG image. Now we'll look at thermal targets expressed as feet values instead of as angle and offset. Touch the feet values icon. Now we can enter thermal growth values as required for vertical and horizontal dimensions and for the movable and stationary machines. Touch on any yellow box to enter feet values for that machine and plane. Use the keypad to enter thermal adjustment values and touch OK after each value is entered. Once the thermal adjustments are entered, they can be saved or you can go back to the horizontal alignment application.